Tonight, Memphis police say they have foiled one woman's plan to have her soon-to-be husband murdered. Good evening, I'm Joe Birch. And I'm Kanji Anthony. She allegedly offered a man $40,000 to carry out the crime. WMC Action News 5's Janice Broach is live with the other big twist in this case. Janice. Well, Crystal Gadden will have to appear here at 201 Poplar for her hearings on attempted solicitation to first-degree murder. Now, police say she tried to hire a man to kill her soon-to-be husband, and that man turned her in. I think it's very crazy. It's actually more than I can phantom in real life. But Memphis police charged Crystal Gadlin with solicitation to commit first-degree murder, According to a police affidavit, Gadlin tried to hire the father of her children to kill the man she planned to marry for his life insurance money. So to be like me and him marry, me marrying him and him killing. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, that is crazy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Police say Gadlin picked up the father of her children so he could see the children. While inside the vehicle, she said she was going to marry a man for his money. After they get married, she wanted the father of her children to kill her husband, and when she collected the insurance money, she would pay the father of her children $40,000. Wow. That's, uh, that's a bit absurd. The father of her children recorded the conversation and went to police who picked her up but did not take a statement from Gadlin because she told officers she was high on cocaine and intoxicated. This is not Gadlin's first brush with the law in 2016. She was arrested after her mother said she hit her in the face. In 2015, Gadlin was issued a citation after leaving her children in an unlocked car in a Kroger parking lot while she was in the store. Now, Crystal Gadlin is being held on a $200,000 bond. I was unable to contact the father of her children or the man she had planned to marry. YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with another video. Now, let me start this off on the right foot. This is grown folks talking. You know how we doing what I'm about to say. Get those bad ass little kids out of the room so we can talk as grown people. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm tired of these kids hitting me up on Twitter asking me, uh, Trey, are you my daddy? Trey, uh, can you tell me how to do this, how to do that? I'm like, man, how old are you? I don't even know how old you are. You're not finna set me up, you know what I'm saying, and have me looking stupid some damn way, talking about I didn't give you some advice, so get they little ass out the room. I'm gonna give you a second right now. Okay, if they're not out the room by now, tough titty. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you all might be saying, "Well, damn, I, I just stood up. I'm, I'm not, I'm not Speedy Gonzalez or Flash." Anyway, tough titty. So we have a woman from Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, Tennessee, if you will. And the reason why I say Tennessee, it's an inside thing. If you don't know what Tennessee means. The hell with it. You don't need to know. But anyway, for all my people that, that's up there in Memphis and for the those that's in the know, uh, as of lately, Memphis has been in the news for all kinds of strange things. I mean, people doing all kinds of strange things for a little piece of change up there. We have a woman, a mother of two. Shouldn't even call her a mom because I don't know what kind of mother or mom will sit up here and ask her ex to murder her soon-to-be husband. Guess for what? So she can get life insurance money on the guy and this, this goes to show you these hoes ain't loyal these hoes ain't loyal by a long shot you think just because you look a certain way or you got a big package i mean a big wood or you got a big bank account oh she head over heels in love with you but you got to understand to some women that don't mean shit you know what i'm saying they want your place no they don't want your body they don't they, they don't want to be having uh fun with you and balling with you no they want your spot they talk they want the top spot to eliminate you and take everything else and to add insult to injury she was going to pay her ex-boyfriend $40,000, 40K, to go kill this guy that she was going to marry just so she could get life insurance money. And I guess the ex-boyfriend must have had a, uh, uh, what they call a premonition. He must have had an epiphany. Like, if I go do this shit, who would say she wants to uh, hire somebody to kill my ass? You know what I'm saying? She, part of, she paying me 40 to knock him out. She might go pay him, uh, the next guy, 60 to knock me out. So... I don't know what popped in that man's mind, but it's a good thing that he took his ass to the local authorities because evidently she didn't give a damn about those children. Hell, it ain't no evidently. She didn't give a damn about those children because how could you give a damn about your children if you out here soliciting murder to, to kill somebody who ain't did a damn thing to you all because you want some moolah, some dinero, some confetti, if you will, some cheese, some cabbage like my grandma say. But I'm going to read a snippet from this story. 
and get my opinion surely as we go. Mother of two offered her ex-boyfriend 40k to murder her fiance and told him she was only marrying a groom for life insurance money. For life insurance money. Trick, why don't you get up off your fat, sorry ass and go get a job? Now, she don't look fat, but that's just what I hear. What the hell I want to say? You just say funk ass. So why don't you get your fat, funk ass up and go get a job? Stop out here laying on your back and looking for a man to come along and save you so you can use that man up. And this goes to me and any women. If you got to use somebody for some money, use a sorry person. I mean, use a sorry, what they call it. What's that stuff that be in the toilet you try to flush? Oh, yeah. Use a sorry piece of shit, if you will. Now, Crystal Gatlin. 32 years old, look like she 62 in the face. Sound like a damn killer, if you will. Sound like a woman. When you look at this picture, she looked thirsty. They ought to tattoo a dollar sign right there on her forehead. So when you see this trick walking by, you ought to know to stay away from her. No, she said, guys, up. You know how we guys talk. You know how we talk. Like, no, nah, man, she ain't no good. You know, the type of girl that been around the way in the hood, been passed around to everybody. You be like, man, that ain't nothing. Everybody had that. So when you see that dollar sign on her head, that let you know right there, she's all about that money and nothing else. She'll even take your life for it. Now, Crystal Gatlin, 32 years old, charged with two counts of solicitation to commit murder in an aborted plot, targeting her husband to be an aborted because their ex boyfriend said, Hell no. Shit, look, look what you did to me when we was together. So, you think I'm going to go kill somebody just so you can get the damn money? Then you going to pay me 40K? But this goes to show you how smart some of these women think they are. And I know somebody right now clapping their hand, they got a woman looking at them like this. So, I'm not being biased. I'm just being truthful. Now, Gatlin allegedly tried to hire uh, the father of her two children to kill her fiancé and promised him, promised him $40,000 after the victim's life insurance policy came in. Now, the guy, the ex-boyfriend, noticed she didn't marry him, so evidently he don't have no goddamn money. Oh, yes, G-O-T got you know what I'm saying? I got to explain myself on here to all my quote-unquote Christian people on here who, who who be saying don't use the Lord names in, in vain. I would never do that. But anyway, G-O-T. Now, back to what I was saying. Evidently, her baby daddy, yeah, her baby daddy didn't have no money. So what she went and did, like a lot of other women do, look around the scenery, seeing who, who can they find. Oh, 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 Jason over there got some money. Oh, Tyrone over there. Girl, you know he's still pushing in that work. Oh, oh, Big Keith over there. You know he got a good job. He worked he worked down, all, you know, all kinds of shit. So that's probably what really happened. And then for this, uh, for her to have the nerve, the nerve, the gall, like, like my granny used to say, for her to have the gall to ask her baby daddy, will you go murder the guy I'm trying to uh, marry just for his life insurance money? I'm going to pay you. But at the same time, I'm going to read most of it. That that don't even sound like a fair deal, even if the guy wanted to do it. I guess she must have thought this uh, guy uh, was uh, going to be a simp forever for her. But something must have made him woke up. And I don't know if it was Black Ram 313. A big shout out to Black Ram 313. I know you be watching. I'll be watching you too. But anyway, uh, I don't know if the guy would listen to Black Ram and had an uh, epiphany and said, well, hell no. I got to go MGTOW. I got to go Embroar, Embroar, whatever the hell they call it, or something like that. But I got to leave these hoes alone because these hoes going to take you under. Let me tell you something. Now, the would-be hitman recorded his conversation with Gallon about the plot and went to the police like, I'm finna drop a dime on your ass. You know what I'm saying? You know they be giving away uh, free chicken boxes on, on uh, Thursday when uh, people go down there and snitch. You get a 10-piece in, two biscuits in, some coleslaw in, some mashed potatoes if the uh, the uh, the uh, information you get giving them is real gravy. P picture that together. That's a metaphor. Now, a mother of two from Tennessee has been arrested on counts of solicitation to commit murder after allegedly trying to hire her ex-boyfriend to kill her fiancé. What a sad hell for that is. Now, Crystal Gatlin, 32, from Memphis, was apprehended on Friday after police said the would-be hitman blew the whistle on a 40,000 murder for a hire plot. I don't know what's the guy's true intentions for uh, blowing the whistle, knowing that this is baby mama, but at the same time, it must not be no love that, what now? No, it ain't no must. There is no love there anyway and no respect because how you going to be with a guy and have two children with the guy and then tell this guy you found another man with money. So evidently the, the guy that you got the two kids by don't have no money. So you go look for another simp to use in which the guy wasn't. He lucky. He need to go thank the uh, the baby daddy for saving his life because just what if he was one of them grimy dudes and some guys will go out there and kill for free. Some guys will go out there and just kill just for the cookie or oh, I'll give you something tonight. I'll be with you. And, and some guys fall for that shit. And next thing you know, the police knock on your damn door. Uh, um, Crystal told us that you killed 
such and so, and we're here to get you. You be like, oh, what? Oh, oh. it's too late then. Now, according to an arrest affidavit, Gatlin picked up the father of her two sons in her car on Thursday so he could see the boys. Oh, what a good thing. She's trying to be a good, great mom. Ooh, congratulations to her for trying to be such a good mom. But... While inside the vehicle, Gatlin allegedly began telling her ex-boyfriend how she was going to marry another man. And you men out there, y'all better listen right now. Listen if you don't listen no more. Listen women too if you got that bread and also that good cooking. But anyway, while inside the vehicle, Gatlin allegedly began telling her ex-boyfriend how she was going to marry another man to get her hands on his life insurance policy. Now here you is supposed to be allegedly having a good heart and being a uh, quote unquote woman, you know, taking the kids to go see the father and you bring your sorry ass over there, not because you want the man to see his kids. No, because you want to tell him to his face and give him them googly eyes like you did that night you laid down and had them babies and stuff. Will you please kill kill him for me? And some guys will fall for that shit. I know I'm talking to one of them right now that might be falling for it. So if I see a certain thing, I know that was that person. Now, at that point, the ex Sarah Tipsius serotipsiously began recording the conversation on his cell phone. Gatlin then allegedly laid out her plot to have her ex killed, uh, her soon to be husband after the wedding, right after the wedding. She wasn't going to wait. She wasn't going to wait four months. She wasn't going to wait till maybe he knock her ass up. If she could still have kids, if them tools ain't tied and burnt and thrown out, she didn't, she wasn't going to wait six months. She wasn't going to wait till Christmas this year, 2018. Hell no. She like right after we walk, right after we walk, out the damn uh, church or out the justice of peace depends on what you have to go in Memphis to get married or how the hell she chose to do it. You know, I want you to be waiting outside. Right when we, right when I, right when he signed that paper and we walking and they say now you can kiss the bride. I want you to knock him off right then. Soon as he get that kiss, bam, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So this right here is a cold hearted woman. Yes, Miss Crystal Gallon, very cold hearted. You know what I'm saying? And this is not from an episode of Snap. This is an episode of when keeping it real goes wrong and also when being thirsty for money goes completely to hell wrong. Now you ain't gonna wind up with shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that, and that ex probably been playing on her, plotting on her the whole time to, uh, to get rid of her ass some kind of way and she opened up and let it come through. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, now, Instead of going along with the plan, the father of Gatlin's children called the Memphis Police Department. He called the MPD on her ass and said he had information about a murder for hire plot reported the commercial appeal. Police officers went to arrest Gatlin but could not get a statement for her from her because by her own admission, she was high on cocaine and marijuana. So if you're high on cocaine and marijuana, what kind of mom are you? What what are you doing driving these kids around? So either way it go, you digging a ditch for yourself. Now you finna get uh child protective services involved, CPS involved, because you admitted that you was high on cocaine, and then they gonna also want to know who giving you that cocaine? Who giving you that cocaine? We been had the big boys off the street now. Now who you know around here slanging that white girl if you will? And I'm not being racist. White girls another word they call for cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Snow white, however you want to call it. But anyway. She was booked into the Shelby County Jail on a two hundred thousand dollar bond, and I bet she, I bet she felt like shit, boy, when she heard her voice on that recorder, knowing that her baby daddy, her ex boyfriend, got revenge, set her ass up like she was probably trying to set him up. Because who's to say if she didn't slow down and trifling to sit up here and ask the father of her two children, not concerned about those kids not having a daddy, what if something go wrong and he end up getting killed? You know what I'm saying? Or what if some goes completely terrible wrong and both of them end up getting killed and the guy find out and kill the both of them, the mom and her, then the children won't have nobody. So she completely didn't give a damn about her children and neither her ex-boyfriend and neither this guy, this simp that she was going to marry. But this goes to show you how there is a higher power, a divine intervention. You know what I'm saying? Because just when the enemy thinks that he got you, hey, it's always a ram in the bush. And I know somebody clapping their hand right now. I hear you. Now, arrest records indicate that in April 2016, Gatlin was charged with domestic assault, bodily harm for allegedly hitting her mom in the face, reported WMC Action News 5. And you know, when they got you on some shit like that, they're they going to go back and say when you spit on your third grade teacher and all that. But this goes to show you the kind of person that, she's, that she is. If she assault her own mom and beat her mom up, you know what I'm saying? Bruise the mom face up. She don't give a damn about no damn body. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to respect mama and, and, and grandma. Now, a year before she was picked up on an aggravated assault charge and also cited for leaving her children 
unattained inside of a locked car in the parking lot of a supermarket while she went shopping. So she's just basically an unfit mom, and this is what happened to unfit moms in the end right here. Let this be a listen to you all. You get your shit together. You ain't got to listen to me, but you're going to listen to somebody one day, just like they used to tell my little bad ass, and I went out here doing none of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Just regular regular shit, you know, the everyday person do. But at the same time, you know, something in life going to slow you down. So keep thinking that you're going to get over on people and get over on people and getting by. Something going to slow you down. And it just so happened, you know what I'm saying? This right here slowed her down. She went to her ex-boyfriend and he did the right thing, you know, because who's to say if she wasn't plotting on him? Because if she plotting on this other guy, she's going to eventually plot on him. What if he want to take the kids from her? You know what I'm saying? Oh, she going to plot on him just like she plot on this guy for some money. Y'all think about this. Let me know what you all think about this video right here. And also, it's a crying shame. It's a crying shame that you have women out here who who don't have no value for nobody life and pretend they love somebody. You know what I'm saying? How you pretend you love somebody and then ultimately, just in the back of your mind, you knowing that you plotting this and planning this person death. What kind of person is that? That's a demonic ass person. That don't have anything to do with mental illness because I didn't hear mental illness one time in this video. No, that's demonic. That's evil thoughts, evil intentions. Let's keep it real. It's an affliction. Y'all like the video? Push the like button. If you like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel. Also, share this video with your thirst ass friends out there who thinking that they're going to they, they, that they gonna find a man who's just going to sweep them off their feet like in a Tyler Perry movie. Or they're going to sit up in here and have somebody kill and thinking that everything going to go smoothly. Oh, no. Oh, no. You never know. That man might, that guy that she was going to marry might have some praying people in his family. You never know. So, hey, let me know what you all think about this situation. Y'all stay blessed, stay woke, and watch out for these hoes, because they are not loyal. I'm out.